Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. I'm Julie and in this lesson we're going to be looking at more words that are difficult to pronounce. Okay, so let's switch over to our work screen. As you know, I compiled a whole bunch of difficult words to pronounce in English and this is lesson two of the pronunciation of difficult words exercise. Okay, so let's take a look at these, this big group of words that we're going to learn. Uh, the first one is guarantee. Guarantee. Actually. Actually. Refrigerator. Refrigerator. Sweat. Sweat. Now, some people confuse this word with sweet, like sugar is sweet, but it's not the same word. This is sweat. Huge, the sound of a J in this word, huge. Tuition, tuition. Intuition, intuition. Squirrel. This one's very difficult because of the rolling R sound here. Squirrel. Regularly. Regularly. Chipmunk. Chipmunk. Tiny. Tiny. Enthusiasm. Enthusiasm especially, almost an SH sound right here for that C, especially itinerary, itinerary, unusual, another J sound here, unusual, soft J, recognize, recognize, studying, you just have to pronounce it like study and then pronounce your ing separately. Studying. Microwave. Microwave. Busy. Busy. This one sounds like if we were to spell it B I Z Z Y, but it's B U S Y. We pronounce it like that. Busy. Statistics, statistics, parentheses, parentheses. Right here, this T-H-E has to be pronounced. Parentheses, <clears throat> materialistic. Do it in syllables, this one. Materialistic. Pronunciation, pronunciation. Just do the words slowly, break them down, practice them in parts, and then get them closer and closer together. Pronunciation, prerogative, prerogative, fictitious, fictitious. Antibiotics, antibiotics, citizenship, citizenship, extinguisher, almost the sound of a GW here, extinguisher, exaggeration, exaggeration, extraordinary extraordinary and that's it so before we get started on our sentences it's a good idea if you put the video on pause for a few minutes and you go and you look up all of these words in your dictionary and write your um, translations down in your own language for these words 
and then you'll better understand the sentences that we're about to do. So take a little break, put the video on pause, and come right back. Okay, I'll wait here for you. Go. Okay, so you're back from the pause. Great. So now you're ready to uh, understand better your sentences that we're going to do. So now you just have to listen carefully and repeat the following sentences after me. Ready? Let's go. Tuition. Did you pay your tuition fees? Squirrel. The squirrel is eating the peanuts. Extraordinary. He is an extraordinary person. Tiny. It's just a tiny little bug. Enthusiasm. I can't contain my enthusiasm. Exaggeration. That is a big exaggeration. Unusual. That is very unusual. Studying. Be quiet. I'm studying. Busy. Are you busy today? Parentheses. Put the definition in parentheses. Intuition. She has great intuition. Regularly. I go to the gym regularly. Chipmunk. The chipmunk is sitting in my hand. Huge. That is a huge cat. Especially. I especially like the black Corvette. And that happens to be my favorite car for sure, but it has to be black. Itinerary. Is my itinerary ready? <clears throat> recognize. I didn't recognize you. Microwave. Put it in the microwave oven. Statistics. We are looking at statistics all week. Materialistic. Some people are very materialistic. Pronunciation. Your pronunciation is improving. Prerogative. It's your prerogative. Fictitious. He writes fictitious stories. Sweat. There is sweat on your forehead. Citizenship. Did you bring your citizenship papers? Refrigerator. Put the eggs in the refrigerator. Extinguisher. Do you have a fire extinguisher? Actually. Actually, I like rainy days. Guarantee. Can you provide me with a written guarantee? Antibiotics. He is taking antibiotics for the infection. And that's all you have to do to better pronounce these words, these difficult words. So now if this video helped you, you can go ahead and subscribe to my channel, like the video, and hit the little notification bell so that you know when I put up a new video. Also, if you have a comment or a question, you can put that down at the bottom. Um, if you need help with your English, if you want to improve your English quickly, you can get yourselves a copy of Basic English, the third edition. There's always something flashing back there, the screen. Uh, this book is uh, full of wonderful exercises that will help you to really improve very quickly your English. Uh, the exercises are full of new vocabulary words that you will learn and study 
and it really contains so much of basic English um, exercises, so many basic English exercises. The answer key is at the back to support you while you are learning. Um, I suggest, I strongly suggest that you start at the beginning, you work on each and every page. Don't skip pages. Uh, don't jump around in the book. Just go from the beginning right to the end and you'll see an enormous improvement in your English. Okay, this book is available everywhere, published by McGraw-Hill. And of course, it's on Amazon, all the Amazon sites. If you are having difficulty with your English verb tenses, which I know so many of you have difficulty with that, you can get yourselves a copy of English Verb Tenses, also available on Amazon. Uh, this book concentrates mainly on, your, on improving and perfecting your verb tenses in English, which I know so many of you have difficulty with. But it's not difficult at all. It's just you didn't learn it the right way, probably. It wasn't taught to you the correct way before. But here you will absolutely understand and be able to get your verb tenses straight finally, okay? The answer key is at the back. I'm going to be putting up a few lessons of, um, from this book in the near future when I get some time and we can look at them together and you'll see how really easy it is to learn the English verb tenses. So I hope all that information was helpful to you. So you guys enjoy the rest of your evening and I will see you in the next lesson. Goodbye for now.